What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another shave. Today I'm excited about this shave because I got a new soap in the den and it is the flanker to this soap here. I have Fougere Angelique in the Omnibus Base. Fresh puck of soap here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. Here is a difference between the two scent note profiles. I'll put it right up on the screen now. So for the shave tonight, I'm going to be using the soap that I just showed. The brush of choice tonight is from my dad's collection. And this is the, um, what is this? The Omega high brush here with the light bulb handle here. I'm going to be using the matching aftershave splash here. Razor of choice tonight is going to be the Feather Artist Club and the blade that I have in there I've been using for quite a while. I've probably got about 20 shaves on it already. I'm gonna be using that blade, which is... <clears throat> oh, here it is right here. The Feather Professional. So I'm gonna go ahead and load the brush with some soap and I'll be back in a second. Got the brush locked and loaded here. Got plenty of lather in the tub, so if I need more, I'll just revisit the tub. I'm just gonna paint it onto the face here. I've only got about a day's worth of growth. I just had a shave the other day. The scent is really, really nice, really, really strong. Off the dry puck, I'd say it's a seven, and when lathered up, it remains the same. This is my first time using the Omnibus Base. But if it's about Barrister and Man stuff, I know it's going to be good. Barrister and Man has never really let me down. Oh man, very, very strong scent. If you like uh, citrusy scents, you're going to really enjoy this one. It's a really, really nice citrus fougere. The scent notes are, uh, compared to uh, Fougere Gothique, at least to my nose, are familiar. They're not like an exact duplication, or, um, but they are close. You can tell that they're, you know, really closely related. Fougere Gothique is somewhat, is darker, has more earthy tones to it, where this one is a nice, bright um, scent. This one is good for, you know, like warmer months, summer. You can use it in the winter too. Summer and, you know, spring or Fougier Gothique. It's more for cooler months. A little heavier, earthier. Gonna need some water. Gonna go with a thinner lather tonight. Not too much uh, hair to remove here. That looks good. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody enjoyed their holidays, New Year's, Christmas, Thanksgiving. It's been a while since I've been on camera here with you guys. Hope everybody is well. Hope everybody's enjoying their shaves. Let me know what soaps you've picked up. All right, here we go for pass number one, and we'll see how many... See if we can get it all with one pass. Just a quick shave tonight. Still rocking the Van Dyke goatee that I that I was growing out before I uh, stopped making videos for a little bit. I'm about. Oh, when, I, when was my last video? November. About two months. I did trim the goatee portion. I've let the mustache go mustache. I've just done some minor trimming to it. It's 
the goatee I've trimmed a couple of times. All right, let's see, rinse up here real quick. Really, really good slickness with this omnibus base. And I'm not surprised, Paris Burn Man has always been pretty slick, no matter what base it's been. You know what, I'm just gonna use the residual slickness just to touch up a couple of spots here. No sense in lathering back up. One second. And that will do it. So I'm gonna rinse up and I'll be back with the aftershave. So I'm back for the post shave here with the matching aftershave splash. We're gonna shake it up really, really good. And I got somebody still knocking at the door there. Hold on one second, I'll be right out. I'm gonna go ahead and do a good healthy portion in the hand here. And apply. Very, very nice scent. All right, man. Nice fresh shave. Feeling good, smelling good. Ready to rock and roll. Have a great week, everyone. I'll see you again for another shave sometime soon. Take care.